It is decision day and the polls are open right now for voters in New Jersey. While the polls in Pennsylvania and Delaware, they're set to open in about 30 minutes at 7 o'clock this morning. And we have live team coverage for you of today's pivotal midterm elections with Eyewitness News reporters Wakisha Bailey, Ross DiMatte, and Jasmine Payude. And we're going to kick things off with Wakisha joining us live from Roxborough with Wakisha, some important information for voters as they head out to the polls. Good morning. Good morning, Janelle. That's right. Voters are going to be heading to these polls here in Pennsylvania starting just in less than a half an hour at 7 o'clock. And there are a lot of things that people need to know as they make some very big decisions. Now, joining me this morning is Mr. Al Schmidt with Committee of 70. And thank you for being with us this early morning. You know, as voters get ready to head out, what are just some of those key things that they need to know? Well, it's important to know if you haven't already voted by mail, to know where your polling place is. You can easily look that up through the, your county website. You can find it at uh, pa.vote.gov uh, to look up your local polling place to show up at the right place to cast your vote and make sure your vote is counted. And if we go back to 2020, that election, when you served as a city commissioner, you know, you said that you were harassed after the former president made some allegations of voter fraud, which were later also proven to be false. Can you kind of walk us through that time period and why voting is so important and the integrity of our election process? It's really a matter of making sure that candidates and campaigns are responsible with their rhetoric. You know, things get pretty intense around election time. Candidates want to win. Their supporters want them to win. But that shouldn't come at the expense of uh, the, the strength of our democracy. And it shouldn't come at the expense of our voters having their votes counted. So around election time, you know, the, the rhetoric and, uh, and the tension and the stress get pretty acute. But that's really no excuse to make threats against election workers who are the people who make our democracy happen. And right now, we're dealing with some very tight races as well. What do voters need to anticipate in the days coming? Well, we would really ask voters to be patient. Uh, counting all those votes takes a little bit of time. And you want to make sure that those votes are counted as quickly as possible and with much integrity as possible. So unlike years ago where everybody voted in person basically across the country, now many states, and including Pennsylvania, have a significant number of voters who vote by mail. And it takes some time to count those ballots. So we would really ask voters to be patient as those results come in throughout the night and the immediate days ahead. All right. Thank you, Mr. Schmidt, for being with us thank this you. morning. And there you have it. Polls here in Pennsylvania, they open up. At 7 o'clock, a lot of things on the ballot. So we'll send it back to you in the studio. Janelle, Jim. All right. Thank you, Akisha Al Schmidt, who we got to know very well after the 2020 election. Appreciate his insight this morning. Well, as you